Hey folks, buckle up, because today's video will blow your mind as we take a cosmic joyride through the epic celestial Game of Thrones Chinese style. China, the land of social crediting, COVID-19 roller coasters, and folks who might have just stepped out of a K-drama or anime. But hey, let's not mix them up. It's like confusing Gandalf and Dumbledore, and we don't need wizard wars. Now brace yourselves for the country where secrets have secrets, and if you talk too much, your Huawei might decide to go all Michael Bay on you. Enough with the stereotypes though. China has swapped roles with Russia, becoming the heavyweight contender against the USA, blending socialist democracy with a flair for turning everything that moves into a feast. China's Heavenly Palace, aka Tiangong, is not just a space station, it's the Iron Man suit of the cosmos, and the West might need a crash course on the stellar upgrade. China dropped the Tiangong the most advanced space station ever, two decades fashionably late, to the ISS party. It's like showing up to a superhero convention with a smartphone when everyone else is rocking flip phones. China didn't just reinvent the space station, they turned it into Elon Musk's super truck of the cosmos. Sleek, powerful, and maybe a bit polarizing. So gear up as we dissect the sci-fi wizardry that China has unleashed on the space race making the ISS look like a relic from the 90s. The important question is, why is China whining like a little kid to have their own space station? Is it because the other kids have been mean? Or is there a shadier conspiracy behind it? Well, just like a ton of international crises and polarization, this too is because of the USA. The USA is that one mean girl who hangs around with only the popular girls and shames everyone else. Need a little context? In 2011, the United States agreed to ban China from the International Space Station, contrary to the name. The ban was particularly rolled out through a Department of Defense Act passed in the USA Congress, which stipulated that NASA may not use their funding to collaborate in any way with China. Americans suspected that China might cash the opportunity to steal their ideas or spy on them, which is a reasonable concern when Russians have been your arch enemy for more than four decades. Hence, China decided the hell with them, we will build our own space station, as if everything on the planet isn't already made in China. When it comes to space stations, China is determined to conquer this realm. To put things in perspective, it took Russia and NASA a whole decade to complete the ISS and two years to make the ISS habitable. Meanwhile, China has been following a master plan they kicked off in the 90s, aptly named Project 921. Phase 1 involved creating a crew capable of handling rockets and spacecraft. The Long March and Shinzo made their debut in 1999. By 2003, China had its first astronaut orbiting Earth on the Shinzo 5 mission, signaling the start of Phase 2, the practice phase. When compared to the International Space Station, Tiangong's layout is larger and more open, with an exterior diameter of around 4.2 meters identical to the International Space Station modules. Tiangong's simple and elegant design stands out. Tiangong excels in the internal volume, which is where the main distinction is found. Like Destiny Lab, the ISS modules are often shorter and have more connecting ports, leading to bottlenecks. For instance, the length of the ISS's Destiny Lab is 8.4 meters, or 28 feet. In comparison, the Wing Tian and Ming Tian modules of the Tian Gong are more extended at 18 meters, or 59 feet. The station's modern appearance is complemented by hidden technology behind plain white panels, contributing to a clean and organized aesthetic as if Dr. Brown and Spock collaborated to please Uncle Xi. The debutante module of the Tian Gong gracefully soared into orbit in April 2021. Tian He, with its solar panels, propulsion systems, life support, and sleek robotic arm, and a nifty docking mode with an airlock and a hefty 20-ton structure with a 4.2 meter diameter is a linchpin for a space haven supporting three crew members. Tian He consists of a smaller end featuring a spherical multi-docking node, a junction with four ports, one hitch permanently to Tian He. The opposite port is like the VIP parking spot for Shinzo, the celestial crew vehicle. The two side ports on the multi-docking node are berthing ports for the twin research labs to the core module. The bottom port on the node is a second crew docking port. This is for use during crew handovers when two groups of three Tycho knots are occupying the same station simultaneously. Tian He 
rocks a 10-meter robotic arm, a bit shorter than the ISS's Canadian arm, too, but packs a punch with similar capabilities and potential for celestial expansion, a real-life Transformers move minus the deceptions. On the cosmic stage of July 24, 2022, China headlined with the launch of their Wing Tian Research Laboratory module, a 20-ton celestial marvel destined for the Tian Gong. The moniker, Wing Tian, translating to Heavenly Quest, rode the Long March 5E rocket, China's heavyweight champ, entrusted with hoisting the Tian Gong Trio into their high-flying orbit. Here's the plot twist. The Long March 5B uses a hydrogen-fueled core stage flanked by four kerosene-burning boosters, making it Earth's third most potent rocket after the Falcon Heavy and Delta IV Heavy. Enter Wing Tian, a versatile actor in the space race. Besides accommodating three extra sleeping quarters, boosting the station's total capacity to a sleepover for six, and moonlights as a laboratory for scientific endeavors, decked with two colossal solar panels boasting a 55-meter wingspan, Wing Tian is a master of energy efficiency, generating a cool 7 kilowatts to power the station. These solar cells are thin, flexible, and incredibly efficient. Inside Wing Tian's quarters, four experimental rack spaces host research projects delving into life sciences, biotechnology, and the gravity quirks of outer space. Or call it a desk for Rick Sanchez. The Ming Tian, a research laboratory module, joined the Tiangong family in October 2022. Having technology similar to the Wing Tian, unlike its sibling, Ming Tian skips the crew's sleeping quarters, making room for more experimental racks. Picture it as the ultimate space lab like we all wanted while growing up, imitating Jimmy Neutron or Dexter. But enough nostalgia, the Ming Tian, equipped with its airlock, Moonlight is a secondary cargo port, adding a dash of versatility to the Tian Gong. With Ming Tian's arrival, the Tian Gong has reached full functionality, a stellar achievement in the space race. Now brace yourself for the star of the show, the Chinese Space Telescope. Still in its interstellar cocoon, this telescope is shaping up to be a game changer. It's like the Hubble, but with a Made in China tag. It is designed to orbit independently and holds a secret weapon docking capabilities with the Tian Gong, and not only peers through the vast intergalactic mysteries, but can even dock at the space station, which not even American technology can do. Plans are afoot for Tian Gong's expansion, a leap from three modules to six. A multifunctional expansion module is on the launch pad, ready to redefine the Tian Gong skyline in the coming years. The station will play host to a limited number of international research projects with collaboration from the United States office, for Outer Space Affairs and the European Space Agency. Yet, in the vastest of space, political tensions cast a shadow. The same short-sightedness that prevents Chinese astronauts from gracing the ISS extends its reach. Americans, too, find themselves unable to have a bear on the Tian Gong with fellow Chinese. Let's hope for a day when the space collaboration is free of Uncle Sam and Uncle Xi's hegemony. Until then, the Tian Gong remains a testament to human ingenuity orbiting, awaiting the day to hear those words again. Beijing, we have a problem. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps bring us more fascinating content to you.